What's up guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a class that I just got done with and that is the introduction to IT class. We're going to talk about how the class was, how difficult it was and all of the materials that you can use to get ready that I used to get ready for the class. Ideally, I would like to do this for all the classes that I go through because that's the idea behind this whole thing is that I kind of document it for those of you guys that are trying to do the same thing or for those of you guys that are trying to understand what it would take to pass a specific class. So ideally, what, what I would do is that every time I take a class and I pass a class, I would talk about it and talk about all the materials that I use. So let's roll the intro clip. When we come back, we're going to talk all about it. Let's go. Okay, guys, so let's get right into it. So first, let's talk about the difficulty of the class, a little bit of information about the class, and then we can talk about uh, the materials and all of the other things that you might want to pay attention to before you take the final assessment. So the class in itself is an introduction to IT class. The difficulty of the class for me, and that's only because I've been in IT for a while, it's not too crazy. Um, actually, it's not crazy at all. It's very straightforward. If you've been in IT for a while, a lot of this questions, a lot of the things in this class, a lot of the materials in this class are very, like, very fundamental stuff, like very um basic stuff that you need basic stuff that you need to understand before studying your it journey uh and this is one of the reasons why if you saw my previous video i didn't want to take the intro class because i felt like to me like eh, i already understand a lot of the intro stuff so i mean so if i need to pass it i just want to do it later on but it, it makes sense to get it out of the way it's not too crazy for someone that's been in it for a while you should ideally be able to pass this class in anywhere from one to two weeks um, for me, it took two weeks because I have specific time that I study in the morning and I don't do extra time outside of that because I try to do time management. So I had to stick to that time to be able to finish the material. It took me about two weeks to finish the class, but I had to stick to that time to be able to study the material and be able to take and pass the class. So again, the class is pretty straightforward. Uh, the first thing I did, um, is that I went ahead and even before looking at the the course material, and I'll look at that in a minute, I'll show you guys that in a minute. I went ahead and took the pre-assessment test. Um, I took that and it was pretty good questions, pretty basic questions, not too crazy. It's it's all over the place. Granted, it's all over the place, like some about database, some about this, and about networking, sort of something about something. It's it's all over the place. And the idea again for the course is to kind of be this introductory course that introduce introduce you to everything IT related. So that's basically what this course is, right? So I took the pre-assessment, got that out of the way. I got a message from my mentor and the professor, uh, the professor's here. I'm not going to reveal her information or anything. Um, and they okay me to take the objective assessment. But before taking the objective assessment, again, the first thing I did was take the pre-assessment, right? So before taking the objective, objective assessment, I wanted to go through the material because even though I've found the pre-assessment to not be difficult. So after I took this exam, I'm like, okay, before taking this exam, even though the, the test, the pre-assessment was not that, was not too crazy at all, I'm still gonna go through material because uh, I wanna go through the material just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Material looks something like this. Get rid of this. I, I went through the material, read through the material. There's like, at the end of each section, you have some sort of a quiz. Uh, again, very, very introductory uh, material. Uh, for someone that's like been in IT for a while, you can pass this in, in a week. And the only reason why I didn't do it in a week, I passed it in two weeks. Week one, I took the pre-assessment and then week two, I took the objective assessment. The only reason why that is, is because again, I do time management and I don't study outside of the time that I need to study for, that I've set for myself to study. So anyways, that's the material. Uh, and then the next thing is that one of the things that I love about this course uh, is that they've made it so easy for you to find information, materials that are going to help you pass the class. And I like the fact that they did that because, again, this is an introductory class. If you're someone that's new to IT, you need all of that information to be able to start putting things together in your head uh, for things to start making sense to you. So I'm actually really excited that they've done what they've done in terms of like all the information that they've put together. So if you go here, for example, course tips, and also this guy right here, you can schedule yourself for like a, let's say a study hall, 
or some other session and then you can go on like a zoom i didn't go there i didn't i didn't even check it out but that's something that you can do to be able to study with other people or get on a call and ask questions and all that other stuff but i didn't do that because i didn't feel like i need to so that's another option that's available to you so now if you go to view all here for course tip this is amazing so they have all the breakdown of everything they have like the intro to um it learning resource hub so if you click on that it takes you to this detail page you just have a breakdown of all of the information that you will need to study for the exam and i mean really good stuff man and they have past recording like the stuff that i was just talking about so past recording past information there's just so much information if your goal is to really dive deep into this and you're new to it you you'll get it <laughs> you have all the information that you need i mean they've broken this thing down into so many parts uh, it's insane I personally didn't go through all of this material. Um, I went through the, the the course material, but most of this material, I just glanced at them because again, I feel like they need to go through this material extensively because I'm familiar with some of the stuff here. And then for here, they give you like a detailed step of how you can follow um, of the things that you need to do and follow this step to be able to kind of go through the class smoothly. So that's very helpful for, so if you're someone that's struggling with like breaking down your time, time management, not understanding what you need to do first, second, third, they've done a great job in just kind of breaking this down for you to make sure you're able to do that. Uh, and if you follow it, just know what you need to do. Step one, step two, literally step by step. And again, they have this guy right here, which is getting started with IT. So they have like an introductory course just to kind of give you broad information about the class itself like how you can schedule the information that are available to you and then i have several tips here like the materials the resources i check the resources this is also pretty great uh, this is the, the learning hub this is where we just who just went to a couple of seconds ago this is also pretty great because they have a breakdown so if you're someone that feels like you know what i'm accelerated um i can take this stuff in in three weeks and the difference between the pre-assessment and objective assessment it's not too crazy. The the exam, obviously, I can't. I'm not going to tell you, <laughs> but it's not too crazy. So if you're familiar with the pre-assessment, you should be able to pass the objective assessment. So so again, it's it's very very good. It's very short in terms of like if you are someone that's been in IT for a while, you should have like a. It should take you a short amount of time to be able to get this class out of the way. But then again, I'm a stickler for trying to read all of the information, so. <laughs> I went through the information anyways before taking the uh, objective assessment. So if you click on this, it gives you, again, if you're bad with time management, it gives you like a detailed breakdown, like, hey, day one, you can do this, day two, day three, all the way up to day 21, and then take the objective assessment. And if you feel like, hey, uh, you know, I'm a little bit new, I want to take my time with the material, again, good breakdown for you. But if you feel like, you know what, I'm, I'm super new, I really want to take my time with the material, I want to go to the learning hub, I want to absorb all of this information then probably you're like you know what let me get that five week and again good breakdown for you to be able to kind of like follow through and be able to study and go through like the learning hub and just absorb all of that information and then just kind of get it out of the way so all in all um that's pretty much all of the information that you need for the class you now it's a pretty straightforward class if you haven't been in it at all then and you have not familiar with IT at all, you haven't done anything IT related, it might be a little bit challenging because a lot of concept, because the reason why it might be a little bit challenging is because it's not just touching on one thing. It's all over the place. It's like trying to introduce you to all of this topic, very surface level information where it's like, what is this? What is that? This is what this is for. This is where uh, this is for in a computer. This is what does this. This is what this does in a computer. This is what a database is, and this is how you will create a database. Like very introductory information. But if you're new to IT, it's just it might be overwhelming because it's a lot of information that's coming at you at once, and it's just all over the place, right? So that's pretty much it for this class. Uh, again, I'm going to do this for all of the classes. I, and I know most of them, some of them are going to be challenging in terms of like the programming classes and all of this stuff. So it would be great to have information like this for someone else that is trying to understand how difficult or how much crazy that class is. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you haven't done so already and if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up.
thumbs up button if you do want to see more videos like this make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, again as i said this channel is about documenting this journey but also talking about it related stuff documenting my growth documenting all the process that i go through my learning process and building myself up to where i want to be so make sure you hit the sub uh, subscribe button if you want to see something like this turn on your notification thumbs up and as always do not forget to stay geeking i will see you guys on the next one peace